there's something I absolutely love about wearing dark makeup with glasses. I feel so sultry. But that glare is definitely not working for me. So before I do the entire video like this, I'm going to take it off. And I sound like honey boo boo. A lot of you guys requested that I do a video all about my nose ring and where I get them. Sort of my experience on what to expect uh, after you get your nose pierced. I got my nose pierced back in 2011, February 2011. It's been two years. I never had a problem with my nose ring. I got mine done with a needle and I had to sign the form and everything. Do not get it with a gun. There's places that pierce your ears that do pierce your nose with the gun, but that's not hygienic. And it's definitely a lot safer if you get it done by a professional and if they use a needle. It didn't really hurt too bad. I was so scared that I anticipated the pain being a lot worse than it actually was. When it was done, I was like, that's it. The nose ring is attached to it, so they just sort of pulled the needle out and then the nose ring just went in. The standard ring that they pierce it with is the quartz screw ring, which I'm gonna insert a picture of it right now. You're not allowed to change it for about three months. I wasn't. And it's a little scary because at first I thought like the nose ring was sinking in my nose because that's what it looks like because your nose is really swollen so it sort of swells over the little stud and it looks like your nose ring is just gonna just sink in your nose and come out the other way, but it doesn't. After three months, my nose ring didn't look swollen or anything like that. But six months, that's when I say like it wasn't hurting at all. I could literally touch my nose ring without me like being, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's pretty much about my experience. Now it's been two, yeah, two years and I love my nose ring. I'm going to give you guys a little close up on where uh, this little nose ring that I have. This is a 20 gauge. The smaller the number, so the thicker the gauge. So 18 is a little bit thicker. That's the standard size they pierce it with, you can't change it at all. You're not supposed to change your nose ring unless it's like it's been three months. I did so anyways at two months and boy did my nose ring bleed. Now, I do not recommend you guys doing that. That's because I was working at a place that did not allow me having a nose ring. So I had to put in the little clear one, but I don't need that anymore. So this is my nose ring and this is um, the L shaped one. I'm just gonna pop it out here. This is a 20 gauge, it's very thin. And super microscopic if you can't tell. I lose these all the time though, that's the only bad thing. In order to place them in, you just go one, bloop, and then you push down. This no nose ring is the same one as this one right here. It says 20 gauge on top, and this is from bodycandy.com. From time to time, I do like to change my nose ring. This one to a hoop like this. I wanted one that would fit snug onto my nose, and this is the uh, 5 16 and a 20 gauge as well. So if I were to put this on, I just took my nose ring off. It has like this little stopper thing. You see that right there? I open it like this, and I would put this in first, obviously, because you can't put the little stopper thing. That's just to prevent it from falling. So that, this is the difficult part. It took me a while to perfect this, but I found my hole. <laughs> you just pull it out, so that little stopper thing is just gonna slide. Ta-da! Now, I like to just tighten it up, so I'm gonna bring it back over here. I squeeze, and make sure your hands are clean. I wash my hands before doing all this. And that's it. I mean, my nose is gonna be a little red now because uh, I get red easily, but that would be all. I think there's a smaller one of these, and that's the one I think I'm gonna get next. It's the three eighths I think yeah the three eighths but when I first did get my nose pierced and I first started changing them and experimenting with different nose rings it would hurt just like trying to find the hole or sticking it in <laughs> the nose bone has a little ball at the end which I've heard people say that it hurts not anymore for me but the only thing I don't like about those is when I sleep at night I don't know what the heck I do when I sleep but those little things just fly out my nose. As of now, the only two that I like using are the L shapes, which keeps them in place, so at night they won't just pop off, and the hoops, but that's it. Um, other than that, I don't use a corkscrew. That thing is so hard to get inside your nose, first off, and yeah, I just don't like them. I mean, but if you have, I guess, a bigger hole for some reason, and you wanna just secure it in place, 
I would keep in the corkscrew for a long time. This one I got at bodyartforms.com. The only thing I have to say about taking care of your nose ring is do not clean it with alcohol. That is super irritating to your nose ring. The only thing I ever used to clean my nose ring was the sea salt spray that I bought at the piercing place. That's the only thing I used. I would take a Q-tip, spray it on that, just swirl it around, do it I think two or three times a day, and that's about it. Don't overdo it. You don't want to irritate your nose at all and try not to play with it you are allowed to just move it a little bit into place so that well, it doesn't just stay stuck there so you know you move it into place once or twice throughout the day and that's about it until you know it's been a few time a few months and then you can just pull it tug it and do whatever the hell you want to it <clears throat> I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to include the links to these websites down below. Oh, they're not sponsored at all. This is not sponsored. It's really because you guys have been asking me for this video. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I'll see you people in my next video.